Given the right information, we can use PV equals nRT to solve for the density or the molar mass of an unknown gas. What we can also do though is derive a relationship between the density and the molar mass for quick solutions. Before we get, begin, we just want to make sure that we remember that density is equal to mass over volume. It's usually measured in grams per liter. Let's start with our PV is equal to nRT. What we ultimately want to do is we want a relationship where we have our mass over volume is equal to something. So we're going to start with a rearrangement here. I moved my moles over my volume, so I moved my volume over to the right hand side and my RT over to the left hand side. Now we're getting close here. I've got moles over volume, but I want mass over volume. So I need to use another known relationship, which is moles is equal to mass over molar mass. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sub my mass over molar mass in for my moles and then clean this up and rearrange. So I've cleaned it up here and then I've moved my molar mass over to the right hand side and now what I have is a relationship M over V is equal to my pressure times my molar mass divided by R times T. You'll recognize from our previous discussion that this is my density. So therefore density in grams per liter is going to be equal to the pressure of the gas times its molar mass divided by R times T. Now like before we need to choose our units carefully. So we have our two R values 8.314 is used when our pressure is in kilopascals and 0.08206 is used when our pressure is in atmospheres. Like always our temperature is in kelvins our molar mass is in grams per mole, and our density, like we said previously, is in grams per liter.